Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna learn how to import the third-person character controller from Unity inside our game so we can start by, well, first having a guy that's walking around in third-person and also prototype our level if we need to. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so this is fairly simple. All we have to do is go over here in Assets, then hit Import Package. And there we'll choose Characters. And now it's gonna give you this option here to import all of these characters and we're simply going to accept this. There is more than just a third person character controller in this, there is also a first person character controller and also a rollerball character controller. You can check these out uh, when we're done with this, It's it's they're all pretty much interesting for uh, depending which kind of game you want to make, but for this video we are going to be using the third person character controller. So once you're done importing this, you will have two new folders. So you have the editor folder that we're not going to um, take care of just yet. We're just going to leave it there. It's going to give you some cross-platform input if you want to use a joystick. And also, you are going to have the standard asset folder. And this is what we want to be using. So in standard assets, you're going to have the character folder. Go on that. And in there, you're going to have the different character that we imported. So first person, rollerball, and third person. For this tutorial we are simply going to be using the third person so open that and we are interested in the prefab folder down here so head to prefab and then you are simply going to drag and drop the third person character controller in your level. And as you can see it's fairly small so I'm going to scale this up I'm going to say it's going to have a 555 scale also, I'm going to reposition it to the origin of the world so I can start setting some um, stuff around him, like the camera. So take your camera, also put it at the origin of the world, and now just move it around so you see the player just fine. So in my case, that would be, that would be good just there. You have the little camera preview down here in case you don't really know, um, in, in case you want to have a good preview. So. Once this is completed, you take the camera, you are going to put it beneath the third person controller as a child. So now the camera is below third person controller and you can simply close this drop down menu. Now let's hit play, just see how it looks. Oh, we have a little, let, let's move this guy on the floor. So <laughs> let's move him uh, somewhere where he won't fall, like about here, hit play. And we have our player moving already. Now let's hit um, let's hit spacebar. And as you can see, he doesn't jump fairly high, and that's probably because we just scaled him up. So um, in order to fix that, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go inside the settings that we get. So click on the player, and if you can check out the inspector on the right, you're going to have the third person character script here, and it's going to give you some um, fields that you can modify. So I'm going to modify the jump power to say 30 and also the gravity multiplier to 4. And that should be it for now. Also going to increase the ground check distance to 1. Now I'm going to press play and if I jump you can see that he jumps fairly high now. And as you can see everything is working just fine and that's exactly what we want. Make sure you have colliders on whatever you're jumping on because I remember in the last episode where we imported those assets, those uh, mushroom assets, we did not have colliders on those platforms and I had to put them there myself. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. But as you can see, level completed with our new third person character controller. So this is fairly cool and fairly easy to implement. All right, so if you don't have any collider on these objects and you want to put some, I'm going to take an example with this stone over here. This stone doesn't have a collider, so whenever I walk up to it with my character, I'm supposed to be able to go right through, just like this. And this is something we don't really want, so make sure the, the game is not playing, and then choose which object you want to add a collider on. So I hit the control select, now I'm selecting pretty much everything on my scene. And you're going to go here in Add Component and add a Mesh Collider. Now let's try this out once more. And my character should now have 
collision with this truck, as you can see. So make sure that everything you want to be walking on has a collider on top of it. And that's pretty much it guys for this episode. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.